Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the day job, the the day job gets you a little bit when you uh when you wake up at four o'clock in the morning. But alas, I am so appreciative to everybody who has checked out the channel. And my goal is to reinvigorate myself like I used to do when I was in my younger 20s, when I would pull 20-hour days and still get up for work the next day for the passion projects I love. So I will not let being tired stop me. I want to talk about the price of Eric July's comic book, which is closely more probably related to a graphic novel because of the length of it. Because a lot of people online, mostly the people who are retarded and don't understand economics, don't understand why it's as much as it is. So this topic gets into a little bit of a deeper conversation. If you don't want that, get out now. But before you get out, probably should have said this. A minute ago let me know if you guys are digging the content here on the channel I also would like to ask everybody out there who is checking out the channel I do want to cover more things than just the Ripperverse, but I want to tie them in into greater concepts happening in the world uh, and I want to see if that's something that you guys would like to do and take a chance on and if that's something you guys would like to do and take a chance on, please, that would be fantastic. There are some ideas that I already have, uh, especially with definitions and dictionaries getting crazy right now and what to do and how to curb that. Anyway, let's get into the $35 base issue of the Ripperverse. Item number one, $35. People are like, it's so expensive. Why would you have it be that expensive? Like... Comic books aren't that expensive. Well, yeah, and you're all broke as hell. So, <laughs> most people don't seem to understand economics. And I'm going to touch on two things in this video, and I hope that I tie these ideas together. One is buying local, buying American, and two is the idea of the minimum wage. So you get this comic book. It releases. It's thirty-five dollars. People are saying, "Oh, you're gonna, you're charging so much for your uh, 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 for your customers, and like they can't afford it. This, that, and the other thing. And how can you do this?" And the fact of the matter is, Zerg July comes out and he says, "Look, he's like, I don't think you understand. I'm buying good quality paper. I'm buying. I'm paying for good quality material. You know." I, I, and I'm doing it myself. He's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hiring this out to some printer in China. Okay. Which is tantamount to slave labor and not tantamount to slave labor. It pretty much is. And so a lot of people who have said for many years, especially on my side of the aisle, oh, buy American, buy American, buy American. Most of us, and including myself in some certain regards, you, you don't. It's just, it's too freaking expensive to afford that. However, if we're going to move in this parallel economy that is being built right now, we have to understand that the people building this damn thing and wanting to do it, and if we want to support them, we're going to have to reach down deeper into our pockets and be willing to, to, to pay for things at a higher level than what we're used to getting from the Chai Coms. So, that being said, the good thing about the Ripperverse is that it is entertainment. It is not a necessity. It's not something that if the the, the if stuff gets really really bad, like it's it we you know it's gonna put us out. It is entertainment, and the fact of the matter is that Eric July has made. So much more. He's closing in on 3 million right now as of the recording of this video. What that tells me is that we still have a damn strong middle class and people who want to purchase entertainment in this country, regardless of the Bidenomics that are going on. 
So how do you build this? Why is it so problematic that he's selling it for $35? Well, because he is literally pricing other people out of the market. Which is weird because he's selling it for more expensive. You usually think of when you think of pricing out of the market, you think of like, you know, Rockefeller and Carnegie. And if you know that history there and what they did to get their prices so low, he's pricing people out of the market by going the opposite direction by going high. What is he doing with this? He's paying his artists well. He's paying his, uh, uh, well, well, his artist, so his colorist and his, uh, uh, and well, his artist and his colorist. And then he's also paying the rest of his employees well to make this happen. So by doing this, he's saying, hey, look, if this is the route that we want to go, here's the model that you can follow. But you got to pay people well. You can't cheap out. You have to pay people what they're worth. And that's Eric July putting his money where his mouth is. The other idea here is that he is completely eviscerating the idea of a minimum wage, which is something that I have hated for years. I have always believed that the minimum wage... Well, and actually, if you... <laughs> If you know where the first minimum wage laws come from, the first minimum wage laws actually came from New York City. And after uh, uh, the freeing of the slaves, uh, well, these guys were coming up and working for a lot less. And so New York City said, oh, no, 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 no. You can't let these uh, people with darker skin than us get our white guys out of the market because they're willing to work for less so they set in the minimum wage law it's kind of funny how a lot of those laws work i hate the minimum wage because it robs people of their own ability to market for themselves and to negotiate for themselves it completely robs somebody's economic autonomy from them eric july is spitting in the face of all of this and standing up for what he believes in he goes in, he says, here's the deal. I'm going to charge this much because this is what, what it's going to cost for me to be able to afford the people and not just afford them, but with money comes loyalty. And anybody out there who's like, oh no, loyalty's a, loyalty is different with your friends, but when you're working and you have to feed your family, loyalty comes in, in the sense of dollars in your bank account. Anybody who thinks differently feel free to comment down below. But $35 for a book that is American made, American printed, and American drawn. No, oh, well, he's got diverse people working for him. They're American. I don't like when people like to hyphenate themselves as Americans. I'm sorry, I don't. This whole idea of, oh, I'm blank American. I'm this American. No, 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 you're American. Period. That's it. Eric July is absolutely destroying people right now over this. And a lot of people are mad because they are used to getting slave labor from another country and they are perfectly fine with it. Their morality is so decayed, they don't seem to understand why they can't pay people less while still profiting from slave labor slave labor from the chai comms i do apologize i'm tired i've been up since four o'clock this morning and it is almost seven o'clock p.m i wanted to make this video because this is something that just strikes a chord with me economics has always been something that i've paid attention to since high school i have been paying attention to these issues since i was 16 years old okay and developing it i was the weird kid in high school when all of my friends were like, oh, yeah, no, this is the president. I'm like, no, that's not a good thing. Well, no, buddy, it's great. And I'm like, no, it's it's really not. They're like, no, it's great. We're going to vote for him. And then like four years later, they were like, yeah, so we were wrong. And I, you were right. And I was like, yeah, I know I was right. Because it's not that hard to literally pull up a calculator and go, yeah, th th that's not going to work. So if we really want to support this, and th th this gets into the the main point that i want to drive at because i've been rambling and i apologize for my rambling my brain is scrambled this is the point that i want to make if we want this parallel economy to take off if we want to recapitalize on our entertainment and on our economy we have 
to be willing to pay more. And we're in a freaking recession and headed towards a depression. But we, with our dollars, as long as we still have control over them, because that's a whole different thing, need to be able to say, no, I'm sending my money in that direction regardless of it being more expensive because, damn it, I believe in my ability to purchase what the hell I want to. And it, we don't even know if Eric July is a good writer yet. He's got a couple of good songs out, but writing a good song ain't writing a freaking novel. And that's tantamount to what he just did, a short, a short story anyway. And again, I'm not saying that to dog on the guy. I just, I believe in what he's doing. I like his personality. I like his, like some of his music. And I say some because I haven't listened to all of it. So I can say I like all of his music. But I, the songs I've listened to, I dig the message. What he has said. I might disagree with him on some definitions of words. But the fact of the matter is, is that if this is something that we are all willing to support... And everybody's like, oh, it's really expensive. Well, guess what? It takes expensive to start something up and to avoid the slave labor that we have been used to basically since the 90s. When we started outsourcing everything to a country that pays their people pennies on the dollar. They say, oh, well, Americans want more money to work. Well, guess what? That's what it takes to live. The problem is, is that our economy is built on a false, uh, a falsity. Our economy is built on the fact today that we can make crap tons of money and most of our goods and services are coming pennies on the dollar from a place that, and horrors that we cannot understand. I'm guilty of it. Every American's guilty of it. That's the world that we were brought into. Not our fault. My parents weren't for it. But it doesn't matter. That's where we are. So for everybody out there who sits there and they go, Oh, his comic book is $35. Why is it $35? Shut up! It's $35 because that's what it takes to pay people well. It's $35 because that's what it takes to build a company, it's $35 a comic and $50 for the signed ones, which I've got one coming and I've got a, I've got one signed and one not signed. And it takes that to build a culture. So I'm willing to pay more because the fact of the matter is I believe in what we can build. It'll re if we get what we're going for. The economy is going to change a lot. Things are going to level out. Things are going to look a lot different. We are spearheading the economic revolution of our time. People say, why are you so excited for this? The book hasn't come out yet. You know what? Because this book might not be good, but maybe a second one's good. Maybe Yaira number one is good. Maybe Isom two is good. Maybe the Alpha Core number one is good. I don't know. I don't know if any of them are going to be good. But you know what it's going to take? It's going to take us believing in this and being willing to pay the price of free men and their labor to win this. Because so far at least for the last 30 years, we haven't been doing that. And we are on the cusp of letting people know our intentions. Ultimately, I think I'm going to end it here. Eric July, you charge what you need to. And you know what? If I got the scratch in my pocket, I'm going to send it to you. To any viewers out there, you got something going on, you send it to me. Let me know. If I got the scratch, I'll check it out. I'll buy it. If I don't have the scratch, I can't do it. But you know what? If we keep this up and we keep letting people know our values, our morals, 
our ethics, the idea that we think of all people as people, that's going to win. We will win. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.